continuing with our ARDS case from part one, you see we had a minute ventilation of something like 14 liters a minute, uh, 26 times 500, uh, 10 of PEEP and 70% uh, just to get SATs of 89% and a PO2 of 61, the bare minimum. So uh, we're going to decide to go ahead and put this pressure, uh, patient into pressure control. All you need to do is click on the button or the tab right here on your spreadsheet. Go ahead and open your vent simulator and make some changes and uh, come back and talk about it when you're done. Welcome back. Let's talk about what I did to meet our goals. First, I adjusted my settings for an inspiratory pressure setting of 23. I was able to adjust this above my PEEP so that I didn't exceed my peak pressure of 34. And as I expected, this setting gave me a tidal volume returned of a 500. Therefore, with a return tidal volume of 500 and a rate of 28, I was I got the uh, 14 liters a minute minute ventilation that I needed in this patient to achieve a CO2 of about 43. Next, I turned my attention to improving oxygenation using an inverse IA ratio. After monitoring my adjustments, I determined that a inspiratory time of 1.44 was able to I was able to achieve an IA ratio of 2 to 1 inverse. In order to do this to a patient, that is Put a patient in an inverse IV ratio, the patient will need to be sedated, uh, perhaps paralyzed and sedated, and uh, be aware that you will cause auto peep, as you can see from the difference between the set peep and the uh, peep reading. So use the minimum level of uh, inverse IV ratio needed in order to achieve your goal of oxygenation. I was able to do that, as you can see on my blood gas, at a 2 to 1. There's no need to go to a 3 to 1 or a 4 to 1. Doing this, I'm able to drop my FiO2 uh, to 50% or below the toxic level. 